If you're a high school athlete that wants to compete in college, listen up. When you begin the recruiting process, college coaches are looking at three main things. First is your athletics. At the college level, every college athlete is competitive. As a result of college athletics being filled with so many highly motivated individuals, you have to find a way to separate yourself. And that's where being competitive comes in handy. It goes without saying that the high level high school athletes who are winning a lot of competitions are going to get noticed and get a lot of recognition. And if you're not that athlete yet or even at that success, it does not mean that you can't get recruited. College coaches are looking at high school athletes. They're not necessarily looking at just the person who's winning every competition. They're also looking at who is competitive. Whether you're winning in the competition or whether you're losing, your objective should be to compete hard and score the next point. College coaches just want someone that's going to compete, fight for every inch during every second of the competition. So if you're an athlete that is not competitive, college athletics is not for you. Being competitive will take you a long way. The desire and discipline will help you reach the next level. Second, we're not professional athletes, right? We're student athletes. So if you want to become a student athlete and you want to compete in college athletics, your grades have to be good enough to get you into school. All right? You're not going to be a college athlete if you're not going to class. You're not going to become a college athlete if you don't do your homework. You can't be a college athlete if you are ineligible. My suggestion for you would be talk to your academic advisor and find out the classes you need to be able to apply for college. Just take those classes early. Additionally, I would highly recommend taking the ACT or the SAT and take a prep course. Take it multiple times. If you do well on a standardized test, that is some good leverage to get you into a college. Our academics just really learn to love learning. Education makes you a well-rounded human being. Pursue that education and take advantage of every opportunity to learn because just in athletics where you want to learn, you want to improve academics, keep learning and improving, jumping at every opportunity to better yourself as a person and as a student. Thirdly, and this is the one that coaches are really looking at the most, your identity. Who are you outside of your sport? What are your personalities, your hobbies, your habits, your family, your friends? What are they like? Coach Kale brings up this example pretty often. If everyone else on the team lived their life exactly the same way as you, would they be successful? Would the team be successful? I've been thinking about this one a lot. Who I surround myself with, the decisions I make, the words I share, all of that contributes to who I am as a human being. One bonus tip, communicate. College coaches spend so much of their time coaching, they're answering to people above them, they're handling all sort of business, and when they have a little bit of free time, they're probably spending that with their families. Obviously recruiting is important, but they're coaching the kids they already have, and there's only so many hours in a day, they're doing their best. So if a college coach has not reached out to you, or the college coach that you want has not reached out to you, or no one's reached out to you, go onto the university's website. Every college coach's email is public online. Write them an email. Write the entire coaching staff an email. Write an email to every coach from every school that you're interested in. Introduce yourself. Talk about why you like the school. Different sports have different requirements on how old you have to be before you can communicate with a college coach, but look that up and move accordingly. Warning though, do not copy and paste the same email to everyone and leave the same name or the wrong university. You might end up writing an email that's supposed to go to someone and then it gets read by the other person and that's, that you probably won't get a response if you do that. Overall, if you're a high school athlete and you want to compete at the college level, be a competitor, learn to love learning, and be a good person. That's all it takes. Good luck.